Hi, this is Mr. Chinnery 3010. This is a review of Batman Arkham Knight on the Xbox One. I've been playing this game since release. I've completed about 96% of it. I can tell you straight away that I recommend the game, but I don't recommend the season pass up to press because it's just been new costumes and stuff and not really any in game content to speak of. Hopefully, that'll change on the 22nd of December. And when the season of infamy comes in so we'll see um, I really enjoyed playing the game I've played Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Origins um, Arkham Origins was my least favourite, Asylum my favourite this my second favourite and City my third um, Arkham Asylum's got the best story obviously but this story's pretty good with the return of the Scarecrow there's some combat going off on screen at the minute which is, as you can see, a lot more fluid than City and Asylum and certainly more fluid than Origins which was a pile of poo, to be honest. The footage you're watching is from gameplay on hard, not new game plus mode, just hard. Because I thought if I played it all on hard I'd get an achievement for completing it on hard, completing it on easy, completing it on normal. But you don't, you just get an achievement for completing the game. So if anyone's just achievement hunting, just play it on easy first to unlock new game plus mode and then play it through on new game plus mode because that's really difficult. Um, the graphics using Unreal 4 almost, I think, it might be Unreal 3, but it looks really good. It's one of the best looking games on. Xbox One, up there with The Witcher 3. Just show you a bit of footage now, I've been walking about a minute. Instead of just being a cordoned off section of Gotham City this time, it's the entire Gotham City. So, it's huge, as you can see, vehicle takedowns. The Riddler puzzles are a lot better this time. There's actual missions involving Catwoman where you have to get her out of there before she is the fan. It's pretty much standard Batman fodder. Comparable to Zelda and Metroid if you've played them games. Arkham. I just said Arkham randomly then, because I was watching the footage, which I shouldn't do while I'm talking, really. All the Batman games follow the Metroid Zelda formula. With Gotham City as the Hyrule field, so to speak. And each building that you go in is almost like a dungeon where you get a gadget and use that gadget to defeat the enemy and get out of there. The side missions in Arkham Knight are a lot better than any of the games. Some of them are longer than the actual main story. There's a great side mission with Harvey Dent, Two-Face, where he's robbing all the banks in Gotham City and you have to stop him within a certain amount of time. Which is really good. It highlights predator modes more than action that you see on the screen at the minute. As you can see, it's raining all the time. It's raining. And while it's good, it'd be nice to see dynamic weather other than rain and maybe a bit of daytime action, even though Batman doesn't go out during the day. So... And obviously we have to mention the Batmobile, which is in the game for the first time, which a lot of people slagged off, but I found it really good. It does transform into a tank, but it's Bruce Wayne. He's got loads of money. So... I'll leave you now with a little bit of footage of Arkham Knight and without a shadow of a doubt one of the best games on this generation I bought an Xbox One just to play Arkham Knight and it was worth every penny first time I played it I sat there with my mouth open and my wife took a picture of me driving the back reel, thought it was hilarious and there you go so this is my first video review so we'll see if anyone watches it um, Batman Arkham Knight, Xbox One. I give it 9 out of 10. Thank you very much. Goodbye.